Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. Um, I've kind of left it a little bit late to post this week's video. Um, I had quite a rough week, food-wise. Um, wanting food, thinking about food, um, trying not to eat food. Uh, which brings me to last night's events. Um, so it got to like 11 o'clock at night. I'd had all my packs, my water, everything was doing okay in that sense. Um, and then my other half went to work. So I decided to jump in my car and drive to McDonald's. Uh, I don't know how I managed to get to that point, but it was just a really low point for me. Um, even just sat thinking about doing it before, I knew it was wrong, I knew it was so wrong and I was going to be ruining everything, but I just couldn't stop myself from doing it. Um, so yeah, I got in the car, started driving. Each kind of street I went down, each roundabout I went over, I was just kind of t trying to tell myself, go back, go back, and I just kept driving. Um, and the guilt kept mounting, but I still kept driving, and each you know roundabout that I went over, it, it got harder to turn back. Um, I got about halfway there and finally managed to talk some sense into myself and just turn that car around. Um, and I sobbed the whole way home, which will sound so utterly pathetic, but you know, it happened and I, d I don't know what to say really. I mean, I'm kind of proud of myself for not getting there, but then I'm also so disappointed that I managed to almost ruin things by going. Um, and I know I would have just felt awful, I probably would have felt really ill from eating the fast food after, you know, the cleansing that the diet does to your body. Um, but I did wake up with, you know, the satisfaction of knowing that I hadn't completely messed things up. I text my, my sister and my partner straight away after the incident and told them what had happened. And um, my sister's done this diet with me before and she knows how hard it is and she just said how proud she was of me, how proud she was of me um, which often makes it worse when people are nice to you and you've done something really crappy and that just made me cry even more. So emotional recently. It's so funny how food just does control your emotions in that way. And I think if you've not really struggled with weight before it's it's hard for people to really understand. Um so anyway, draw a line under it and moving on. So this week's weight loss was on Tuesday, three days ago, and I lost four pounds, which is obviously really good. But I will admit, I did think I was going to lose more because um, after the fantastic weight loss last week of thirteen pounds, um, I know from the diet that when I've done it before that you kind of your weight in the first few weeks is always really good, but it comes down gradually. Whereas I felt like I was kind of a bit of a crash to earth, down to the four pounds from thirteen pounds, like a third of what I lost before. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, I've had a good talking to myself after last night, and it is still fantastic. You know, it's a stone and three pounds in two weeks, and what other diet can you do that on? which, you know, I should give myself a pat on the back for, and it has been bloody hard work. It's been really rough, but I'm hoping that this will pass, because I, I just don't remember it being this hard before. Um, but my younger sister, she is starting the diet next Tuesday, so I'll have, you know, a diet buddy. I know I've got the people that look at this video, the few the few of you out there um, are also my buddies as well, but it's nice to kind of have a person who I can text and things like that and when I'm struggling. And... I'm hoping that when she gets to the point where she's really struggling and wants to go and have a burger, then I can talk her around. So, um, that's it. I think I'll wrap it up. But, you know, thanks for coming and watching my video again. And um, hopefully I won't leave it as long to post and I'll be full of positivity next week. Good luck to you all on your diets and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.